This is lesson 12.4, Models and Volume. You're going to use your cube pieces to build the following rectangular prism. Your rectangular prism should be four cubes long, three cubes wide, and two cubes for your height. So use as many cubes as you need to build a rectangular prism that is four cubes long, three cubes wide, and two cubes high. Please press pause, build your rectangular prism, and once you're ready, you may hit play again. At this point, you should have your rectangular prism built. Now the rectangular prism that I built using those dimensions, my rectangular prism looks like this. I was looking at the dimensions of four long, three wide, as well as two high. Now, depending on how you looked at those dimensions, your figure could look slightly different. Your drawing might look like this. Technically, this would be four cubes high, and then the two cubes wide by three cubes long, but this is a similar figure. The last possibility would be for your rectangular prism to look like this with three cubes high. Now whatever your rectangular prism looks like, the goal today is to find the volume. Now you have two options to find the volume. First you can find the volume by counting the actual cubes that are within the figure. Remember that there are some cubes that you cannot see, so you may want to use a layer and then multiply that accordingly by how many layers there are. So go ahead and find the volume of your figure right now by counting the cubes. So if you're counting cubes, you basically have two choices here. You can count the top layer and find that there's 12 cubes in the top layer by two layers high. So 12 times 2 would give you 24 cubes. You could also instead look at the front face and find that there are eight cubes in the front face and working backwards there are three deep three faces going backwards and again eight times three is twenty four so either way you should even if you just took your uh, rectangular prism apart you would find you have twenty four cubes now remember when working with volume the equation for volume is always length times width times height that's your formula. So if we simply take our numbers and plug them in, keeping in mind that it doesn't matter what order we multiply in. So we take our dimensions, 4 by 3 by 2. 4 times 3 gives us 12. 12 times 2 gives us 24. And in this case, we could say cubic units. So two ways to find volume. If there are cubes, you can count the cubes. However, also know to use your equation length times width times height.